welcome to another episode of the Lacquer Podcast. This should be episode number 41. My name is Yaline and I'm filming this year in Bloemfontein, South Africa. This is actually in the central of South Africa in the Free State Province. I hope you're doing well. I have so many things to show you today and I am really excited. <laughs> So the last time I recorded, the last time I recorded, it was in the beginning of May, and we're almost at mid July, a little bit over mid July, and time is flying. So I'm sorry it's been a minute, but there was also things happening. You know, we have lives. It's not not only about YouTube. It's about living your life and I am grateful for the life that I have and I'm so ex excited to share some of my knitting and crochet projects and gifts I got because I recently celebrated my birthday in the beginning of July and so for this episode and I think the next episode I will show you some of the gifts I received. All right so let's start with finished objects. So the first finish of the first and no, actually I have a lot of finished objects. I'm looking at my list. The first finished object I have, um, the reason why that it is a finished object and where it was even a, a project to begin with was my local newspaper, a neighborhood newspaper asked me to make submissions, article submissions, knitting and crochet and yarn related to the to the newsletter or to the newspaper and so I've been doing that for a while and then the lady asked me but can you please write us a small design a small crochet pattern so I did just that and um, I wrote a dishcloth pattern using natural yarns because I'm trying to give knowledge in this news all the articles I've written previously was why natural yarns is so amazing to use what is the pros and cons and things like that so I have designed this easy peasy crochet dish cloth and I mean when I say design this is like so easy because it's just single crochets in US terms. <laughs> so it's not really difficult. But look at the yarn. And in actual fact, I made the pattern available also on Ravelry. So you might have seen it. I think some of you might have. It's on Ravelry, I think for $1 available on Ravelry there. But anywho, um, so I published the pattern in the newspaper the online newspaper and um yeah really really this is a great great project so the yarn that i used was from yellow cottage yarn she's a south african cotton indie dyer this is a hundred percent cotton dk with 50 grams giving giving you 130 meters so i have quite a substantial left over and i would probably be able to make another dishcloth so love 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 this project and then they asked me to design a knitting dishcloth pattern as well so i need to work on that and gauge and design and test the pattern and everything in the next few weeks too so that is all crochet related, I think. The next few finished objects is all knitting related. <clears throat> so the first pair of socks, finished socks that I have, I actually don't even have the socks with me. So they've already been gifted to a friend of mine, but it's a plain vanilla sock pattern. And actually a few years ago, I bought this yarn, especially for this friend because she indicated to me she wants gray socks. So here is the socks. 
And I have knitted that with Naughty Habit Kaizo socks. It is a 75%, 25% fingering weight yarn. 75 merino, 25% nylon. I don't know if I just said that correctly. Three ply fingering weight. And I actually did not even use the mini because the so Kaiser sock sets is normally a, how many grams? A 200 grams full skein of a color and then a 25 grams small mini that you use usually for cuff toes and heel and so forth. But I just used the full skein for the socks. So that was one um, pair of socks I made. Another pair of socks I finished is actually my own design. So that pattern was also released at the end of June. It's called the Starry Night Socks. And the reason it's called Starry Night Socks is because of the following. So I bought this yarn from Esteriza Yarn Creations. They have a current monthly subscription for socks where you can where they do a tribute to the masters the tribute to the masters is they're taking famous paintings from famous painters and they let that painting for a specific month whatever painting they are choosing will be the inspiration for the colorway that they will dye for that specific month so when they said that vincent van Gogh's, um vincent van gogh <laughs> he's very famous Starry Night painting will be the inspiration for March 2024, the year of socks. I immediately knew I want to have this sock set. So this is also 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. It's a three-ply sock weight. And oh my goodness, I will try to show you the yarn. And then when I saw that, that yarn, I knew I, I felt so inspired to design a sock. I, I actually had the, the picture in my head. And so the socks look like this. So this socks is a mosaic knitting stitch that you use. I would say this is a very great introduction for color work with mosaic knitting for beginners and love, love how it came out. I am so, so, so excited. The pattern is available on Ravelry as Starry Night socks and um, yeah, I hope that if you have already bought it, thank you so very much for supporting me in my designing ventures and then if you're possibly going to buy it now again and if you have already bought it I hope that you will enjoy the process of knitting those socks and I have to say a big thank you to the testers that also test knitted my design love love each one of those socks and then I have another pair of socks it was all about socks and it's so funny because I made this commitment to myself at the beginning of the year that I'm going to stop to knit socks for gifts to friends and family and really try to put the focus back on myself this year and knit myself some socks because last year I did not knit myself any socks. And But as you have already noticed, one pair of socks is already done for a friend and the next pair of socks was knitted as a gift for my aunt. So this pair of socks was also Esteriza Yarn Creations. And in fact, this pair of socks was made with their first sock set from 2023 in the beginning of the year last year. So the January year of sock set. And um, I can't remember what was the, the theme for that year. I actually can't remember, but it doesn't matter. The socks is already gifted. Here's a picture of the socks, and I think I might have a picture of the yarn. I will try to also display it here. And vanilla sock pattern, nothing fancy, love it. I am using the vanilla patterns from the Crazy Sock Lady. So, yeah, love her pattern. She's got really great vanilla patterns 
for if you want to use magic loop methods. If you want to use nine inch circulars, the small circumference, and then um, also double pointed needles, TPN. So you are sorted for vanilla, with vanilla socks. Doesn't matter how you would like to knit your socks with what type of needles. So that is my socks. That is all the socks. So now the last finished object is quite a special one. And give me a moment because I need to grab it over there. So the next finished object has a little bit of a, spe is a special one. Um, I was asked by Irina from Fiber Chats to test knit her debut pattern. And she is in United States. Um, and we somehow, I can't even remember how we came to talk to each other on direct messages. I can't remember if it was it Stephen West, Human of Westnets that she had. She has this yearly um, theme where with the mystery knit along of Stephen West, she interview normal people like me. And um, those that is participating in the mystery knit along of Stephen West. So it's quite entertaining and lovely to join this group of people. And so the one time I said to her, please, can you please visit at the H&H &H event of 2023, I think. Please go and visit one of our dyers called Cowgirl Blues. It's a, a yarn company in Cape Town. And so I encouraged her because I knew she was going to the event and I wanted her to meet one of our South African dyers, you know, South African yarn people. And so she did. So she met Bridget, the owner of Calgal Blues, and got a skein of yarn there. It inspired her to design this pattern. And so she knitted away on this amazing yarn that she got. And with this year at the H&H &H event, she was going to Bridget again and giving the shawl to Bridget as a gift. So the H&H &H event is a big yarn event, a craft event. I don't know exactly what it entails, but there's amazing speakers. They have fashion shows, but it's as far as possible. If, if I could remember correctly, it's held in New York. So it's a yearly event, big thing. And I think it's so awesome that one of our Yoni people from South Africa is actually present, represented there. So she went to gift Bridget this shawl. And so Bridget now has the shawl in her um, beautiful shop in Cape Town. And when she travels to yarn shows, that is also going with us per her, her other samples as well. And the mem the people in the public started to ask, but do we want this pattern? So Irina was really, she had to write the pattern because it is indeed a beautiful pattern. And then she asked me to test knit this pattern. And I felt so honored to, be have, to have been asked by her. And when I engaged with Bridget, trying to figure out what type of colors of yarns I'm going to get, Bridget said to me, you know what, Yaline? I'm just going to send you the yarn. You don't even have to pay for this yarn because, wow, you know, I want you to test this, this shawl. So have, here's the yarn. So thank you, Bridget, so much for me and Irina for trusting me as being one of your testers. It's been really awesome. So now, are you ready for this beautiful to see this beautiful shawl. This beautiful lace shawl is called Sweet Surrender Wrap. The designer is Irina Shaw and the yarn is from Calgal Blues. And this is a great pattern for beginner lace knitters. I can highly recommend this pattern. So the yarn I used was Calgal Blues. The lacy part, I hope you can see it beautifully. It's so pretty and so soft. <laughs> so the lace part is Merino lace yarn in the color Indigo. And I really love this blue 
very dark blue color. It's beautiful. And then it's interrupted. So you have this lace section. Every lace section is, is exactly the same. Um, so just if you are, might be feeling like the lace is becoming too much, then it is interrupted with this beautiful stockinette section, which you knit with kit silk or mohair, also very lacy pattern or lacy yarn. And um, the yarn that I used here is from Kit Silk, Cowgirl Blues. Um, I think it's Say a Little Prayer, the colorway. So absolutely love it. Let me show you the yarn, how it came. Um, this is actually also one of my gifts then. And I actually didn't, I threw away the outer packaging. It's actually sad, but it comes with this beautiful, thank you for your support. And then a lot of plain little candy yarn pieces. I mean, this is just so cute. And let me tell you, this yarn, Candy, has been life-saving to me. There was one instance where I had to grab, I was actually using Galgo Blues yarn, and I had to, oh, it was when I was knitting mittens, and my yarn ran out, and I could delve into this small yarny things. It helped me tremendously. And I mean, it's so, so pretty, right? So, um, this is just to let you know how it looked like coming the packaging. It's so pretty. So, the yarn that I used was the Merino Indigo colorway. Where is the tag? There we go. Um, it comes in 50 gram skeins or balls of yarn. Um, 50 gram is a 300 meter yarn length and like I said indico and then look at this This is just gorgeous right The colors in here is truly magnificent so this is a kit silk yarn. From Calgary Blues. It's 70% mohair, 30% silk. And 410 meters for 50 grams in here. So I had to use almost two balls. Just under 100 gram. So about 100 gram of the lace. And then you need a 50 gram kit silk. And... It is absolutely beautiful. Love it. I'm really proud of this one. I wish I had this pattern prior to me embarking on my challenge for 2023, knitting Shetland lace work, because I truly actually started to understand with the repetitions of the sections, how this all come together, how this really work and the patterning and the, uh, this is a great experience for me. I love knitting on the shawl. It's a great beginner lace work pattern, I would say. And oh, it's, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. It's nice. <laughs> very nice. So I'm very proud of this. And it's been a joy knitting the shawl. Alrighty. So that is all the projects. Finished. Everything is finished. I don't even, I am not showing you, whoops, works in progress. There's too many things to show. I'll show it in the next episode. But we are not done because we have to talk about an acquisition and gifts. All right. So let me take this away. And then also we need to do a giveaway from episode 39. I'm just having a sip of coffee. Oh, lovely. All righty.
where do I start? <laughs> All right, the first thing that I bought was a bat, fiber bat from Esteriza Yarn Creations, who I'm part of a group on a spinning WhatsApp group here in South Africa, all of us spin yarns, or fibers rather. I, I, you know, I wanted to spin yarn during, February, uh, during July, and I was sick for almost three weeks, and I haven't gotten to it. But anyway, this bat was um, dyed for each spinner exactly the same, so this exact same fiber as far as, ex as far as exactness can go with hand dyed fibers and yarns <laughs> and we all received the same type of bat the same type this the colors is exactly the same and the idea is to see with each spinner and how we spin in different um thickness of yarns that we spin how does it differ from one spinner to another and i think it's such a great idea to do that so this is from h to h yarns which they um under the estriza yarn creations umbrella this is a 100 percent superwash merino bat for spinning this is 100 grams and i mean I think it's going to be beautiful pinks and blues and yellow what else so i'm really excited to spin this i need to finish my other project my spinning project so that i can start this project So now we are going to look at the gifts and I just want to say thank you so much to friends and family and those that's watching my podcast for, you know, sending me gifts. It's truly, truly appreciated and um, I'm really feeling special and it's unexpected. So thank you so much for your love and your kindness. <laughs> The one thing that I got was, and I'm not going to say from who it is, um, I'm going to show you the gifts. It doesn't matter who, who sent me these gifts, I already thank them, but I'm still, I still want to share the yarny goodness, um, if it's yarn related. Some of it might not be totally yarn related, but still. This package I got um, with, let me take out. So this package I received, there is some United Socks from Katya, Sock Lovers. It's Katya 100% U, it says. It is a 75% wool and 25% polyamide yarn. This is a 25 gram and the 25 gram has about 100 meters on here. So yeah, lovely. And this is Superwash also. I hope the camera doesn't blur the things that I show close to the camera. So I got it in this colorway. It's color number 23 and number 20, number 7. There we go. This and then a pin from the summer sock camp of the crazy sock lady for 2024 and i just love the theme of this because it's got 80s vibe and it's so cool <laughs> i hope you can see it summer sock camp 2024 love it then also um, a container and this is so helpful with all your projects having to be able to put a scissor in here maybe, some stitch markers, a darning needle, 
all the things that you need. So this is very handy. I have actually in my house, I have one at the TV, also a container like this, one next to my bed. Um, I feel like I need to have one in my car <laughs> and then all the project bags that I'm busy with, each one in those. So I feel like darning needles, scissors, these type of containers to hold the things. What else? Measuring, ba uh, measuring tape is the things that I need all over the place. That's how I feel. And stitch markers. Very valuable. And then also a Feinboss Happy Balm. Fein. They are, where are they situated? Oh my goodness, I can't read small print these days. I don't know where they are coming from. But this is definitely South African. Feinbotanicals.com And I'm trying to see where it's coming from. And I, I, I don't know. Feinboss Happy Balm. Mm -hmm. This is going to be helpful. The winters here in the Free State is harsh on your skin. <laughs> it's very dry here in the winter time. And then a chocolate. Nut selection, honey salted almonds. Oh my word. This, I'm going to have it now. This we need to have now. <laughs> so thank you so, so much for my gift. Uh, a second gift I got was from also from a local yarny person look at this she knows that i love cats too so it's a, a a bag for this can even host a sock socks sock project very easily and um i just love it it's so pretty with a cat in front love it then another project, uh, another gift I got was also from a local Yanni person. And oh my goodness. Let me see. Let me, let me see. Let me just take it out of the bag. This is Opal Yarns. 100 grams is having 425 meters on here. This is actually the, the way that it is set up is that your socks makes patterning. So it's like a patterning sock and you don't have to do anything. The yarn does everything for you. 75% wool, 25% polyamide. And I don't know if you can see there, but that is how your socks should look like. All right, so opal and then that's what your socks should look like. This is so pretty. I love this blue and purple. Love it. And then the other thing she gifted to me was a bag that she made herself. And I'm currently actually having a project in there. It's a design I'm busy with, which I cannot show you. <laughs> and the bag matches the socks perfectly. And I love this bag. She made it. Isn't it gorgeous? With the red ties to, to make it close and the bottom, the black bottom. It's so pretty. I love this bag. And my design I'm busy with is in here. So yeah, love it, love it, love it. All right. And then two more things, I think. Am I missing things? Two more things is this I also got from a friend. So what is this, you asked? Um, you place a ball of yarn. Wait, let me show you. You place a ball of yarn like this. And then you can actually have this on your arm. And it spins. You don't have to worry about yarn and ta tangling or anything like that. And you can knit and knit and knit. And the yarn is just coming. You can walk and knit. This is awesome. I love, love this. And I just love the arm um, 
bag that is coming with it. This is an awesome gift. I love, love this. <laughs> and then the last gift I'm going to show you today is coming from my sister. Let me just make sure there's nothing that I'm missing. The last gift that I'm going to show you is coming from my sister. So she knows my obsession, obviously, with um, yarn and knitting and crochet stuff. And they've recently quickly went to have a quick holiday in Singapore. And what did she bring back home to South Africa for her sister? She brought back a, <laughs> a bag. And I love this. This is so, so pretty. It's got a, a tag to close it. There's a small bag on the inside. Um, it opens up with a box bottom and then it's having this crafty feel, right? It looks like it's woven and it says Singapore and I love it. So when I opened up this gift and I said to her, you know what that is, what this is going to become, right? And she's like, yes, I know it's a project bag. <laughs> she knows me so well. So that is my sister's gift and yeah such a special gift and i love that my family understands what i love and what i treasure and i treasure yarns and yarny things like project bags and all the things so to all of you that have given me gifts thank you so very much i really appreciate it and um Yes, I, I am so grateful. All right, the last thing that we need to do is to talk about the giveaway. So on episode 39, I have shown you a project bag. Let me show you again from NM, E-N-E-M, NM, project bags. Nikki is the maker of these bags. She makes beautiful project bags. I think I've shown you two of the bags that I bought from her. After seeing this, I thought, no, no, I am buying project bags for myself too. And she gifted me two bags, one of which is this one. It's so pretty, I'm gonna show you just now. And the other one, if you haven't watched, it's on episode 39. That one I kept because the moment we get into a thousand subscribers on this channel, we will do a big giveaway like we always do actually yearly with the yearly celebration of the Lacquer Podcast. So this bag is going to somebody in this episode. So it's got um, two inner pockets, two outer pockets, and this is a perfect bag for a sweater. Maybe you have two smaller or three smaller projects that you want to put in a bag. It's really a great bag. And the box bottom I'm all for a box bottom where it can properly stand upright and not tilt or fall over. So um, I want to say thank you to all of you who commented on that episode. And the winner that I just drawn prior to me starting this recording, hold on, is Marilyn Van Sale, 1891. I'll display the 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 comment here she says nm i would like to use the bag for my to be cast on stella shawl so a while ago we were having a crochet along called um with the stella shawl and your stained glass cardi is to die for thank you so much madeline i hope that you will enjoy this bag you are definitely going to enjoy this bag and so madeline please send me an email to sales at madepialine.com with your name your telephone number, your address to where I can send this to so that I can send it off to you, right? That is going to be awesome. All right, let me just make sure I don't have anything else that I'm missing because it sometimes happened. <laughs> but anyway, the next episode will have some more projects. It will have some more gifts, which I didn't show today. And I can't wait to see you again with the next episode or for the next episode all right so that is it for today please like 
this video if you enjoyed this. It really says so much to me um, or means so much to me when you do. Leave a comment. What do you think of the Sweet Surrender wrap? That beautiful lace wrap. Or do you knit socks only to give away to uh, friends and family? Or do you actually also some, knit some for yourself too? And um, I would love to know. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think of the, of the contents of this video. And subscribe if you haven't done so. It will mean so much to me. And then we can give away the other bag. All right. So until we meet each other again in the next episode, stay well. I hope you have a lot of crafting, crafting time. Stay blessed. Bye. Um, four, four, I'm thinking now. All right, so the next few, you can ask me back out, so the next,